Senator Rand Paul had a heated exchange with U.S. State of Secretary Antony Blinken over a session discussing the records of the state's funding for COVID-19 research. Blinken lashed out at the senator, asking him to give facts and not his own spin to the records available. Rand Paul finally appealed to the committee chairman to sign a request which would allow information to be retrieved from the State Department as evidence. Let's see how this, the scene plays out now. On September 12th and November 7th of last year, I sent letters to the State Department asking for records about coronavirus research that had been funded by the State Department. The State Department refused to comply. When Assistant Secretary Sherman came, I asked her the same question. She didn't seem to be aware that you had been funding coronavirus research, but you are. And I got the I'll get back to you line. A couple weeks later, I met personally with you at the State Department and asked you the same question. Will you not divulge to us the records of the State Department's support for coronavirus research, particularly in China? You assured me you would help. We communicated several times over the phone with another assistant secretary of state uh, who finally sent us a letter and said, no, we're not going to give you anything. So that's where we stand. And it's uh, my question is, what's the State Department hiding? Why won't you give these records to the American people? Uh, Senator, thank you. And uh, yes, I appreciated uh, uh, you raising this when we saw each other uh, a month or so ago. Uh, and my understanding is that our teams have been working to find an uh, accommodation. Uh, there's long-standing. We got a refusal, blanket refusal. No, they are not going to give us the records. Um, we cannot directly provide uh, the sure you can. Unredact unredacted cables. We have a long-standing practice with this committee uh, about how we do. You're things. refusing. But you're refusing to release them. No, but it's not I think that you can't. There's a difference between can and may. You uh, won't do it, but you can do it. My hope is that we can find a, a way forward that answers your concerns, so that you get the information that you're looking for. My understanding is that. Uh, our team's been working on that, and I uh, commit to continue to do that. You're refusing to give records on research, money that went for research. We want to read the research grant proposals. We want to read what the people in Wuhan sent back to the State Department saying they did. I only want to have Again, the records. Again, I believe that we can find a way to get you the information that you're looking All for. All right, but the last, the last response we have from you is no. So the American public needs to know. I've asked many, many times. I've asked you in person. This is a second time in person. I've talked to two assistant secretaries of state. And the writing we get back from you is no. We did reach back out to your team just as recently as this week to offer to provide all of that information in briefing form, which is to say... Uh, which means you get to read it and interpret it and spin it, and we get to hear your spin. We don't want to hear no, your spin. We're, we want to look at the dog. We're talking we're about not grant... In, we're not in, we're, not we're in talking about grant proposals. You, ask as, you act as if we're talking about the secrets of the Manhattan Project. We're talking about grant proposals, and we're talking about grant updates where someone has to write in and say, oh, we did this experiment and this experiment, and we got this result. But we don't want your spin on it. We want to look at the documents uh, we, ourselves. Uh, we're, we're not providing spin. As I said, I believe we can provide the information you're looking for. We have long-standing practices and procedures in terms of actually providing documents and cables with this committee uh, that uh, we're not prepared to change. But if you'll help me, we can get the information tomorrow. Everything you say he won't give me, he will give me tomorrow if you'll send a letter. I, uh, I appreciate the Senator's time has expired, but I appreciate uh, your uh, concern. I understand that my committee counsel has spoke to your counsel this past Monday, um, and uh, your counsel followed up with us today. And we are uh, in the pursuit of trying to see how uh, you can be accommodated. And I Thank look you. forward to making that happen. Senator Barrasso.